Welcome, I'm Solo, and this is ZN Gaming. In this video, I'll be going over how to prevent a follower bot attack. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Now, if you have been getting follow botted, there's lots of ways to fix it after it happens. I'll cover a few ways to stop it and how to prevent them from even happening in the first place. The first way I'll cover is a way to actually stop it from happening that your mods would be able to help with as well. Now, Twitch has been adding a lot of new tools to help fight against the follower bot attacks just over the past year or two, and the shield mode is one of the great ones that I think is good addition to Twitch's tools. When you get a bot attack, all you need to do is just turn it on and it will stop the bots from attacking in its tracks. It'll stop the spam up through the chat, it'll stop a few things, it'll It'll prevent quite a bit of things, but if you have never set it up before, it might not stop the followers from actually happening. So now is actually a good time to go over the settings. This is also something your mods can turn on, like I said. All you have to do if you're a mod is just go underneath the chat here and it'll say shield mode on. So you can just give it a click and turn it on. So this is something that's easy to access for your mods or if you're the owner. But this will be good if, you're, if you have really active mods and they'll be able to stop the bot attack. If you have it set up correctly, this should work perfectly and stop over 99% of the bots from being able to follow you. Now all we need to do to set it up is just go over here to the settings. If you're a mod, you can set this here up as well. And if you're the owner, you can do the same thing in your chat here. You can just go to the settings and you'll be able to go down to channel mods or channel modes and click on the shield mode. This is just going to open a new window of all the settings. I'm going to make it big here. Once in here, there's going to be a lot of settings. And if they're all on, when this here shield mode is turned on, all this is going to be on. When it's turned off, all of this here stuff is going to turn off. So in here is the perfect one to set up if you just want temporary things. And I suggest setting them fairly strict in here because this is going to be the safeguard. If the way I tell you next doesn't stop them, I do have a way next that I'll be talking about after I cover this here that's going to prevent them from ever even being able to get to the point where you have to worry about a mod turning this on. So you want this here set up to be very, very strict. This is your backup if they happen to get past the first way. So in the first one, in the settings, is going to be the channel modes. We're just going to leave this one here stock follower only chat one month. So they have to be following for a month. That's not actually too crazy, but keep in mind, this is on when it's on. And it's going to stop any of, of your current followers if they haven't been following a month. They're not going to be able to chat. So this is not something you're going to want to leave on all the time. Only activate it when you have a follower bot attack. Uh, the slow mode, 30 seconds. Uh, Non-mode chat delay, 6 seconds. And clear the chat from non-mode non-mods. I leave all of these here on and I definitely suggest leaving them all on. Now the next two are chat verification and follower verification. These are the ones that I found stock were off. So you want to make sure that it's on for all chatters. And the phone one, not so much. This is one I actually suggest not setting up unless you keep having the problem even after you turn the email verification on for everyone. Turn it on, make sure it's the strictest setting. There's some down here you can turn on, but we'll, we'll check that out later on. In the phone verification, I just leave it stock. I just leave it the same and make sure the email verification's on. I do the same in the followers. In the followers, you should definitely turn it on so all followers must have an email verification. This is going to stop a whole bunch of bots that made a fresh account that are under a week old from being able to follow you at all. And I suggest just leaving the follower verification on for the email only. And like I said, if you do still have a big spam problem, turn on the phone one. That's going to stop anyone from following at all. Because if you don't have your phone verification on your account, which you can only do with one phone number, this should stop every one of them from being bots anyways. You're going to actually have real people that are being followed. And now the last one is the auto mode. This, this is the auto mod. I find it's set up a little bit strict. So if you have people that say just simple terms like AF, if they just say the word AF, not not the full word. This is going to block it from happening. So it's set all the way up to four. I actually suggest using two or three. If your chat is kind of, if they talk and use a little bit of swearing, you'll want to make sure that it's set a little bit lower than four because four is going to stop every single thing. And this is just going to make your mods very busy from going through and clicking a whole bunch of stuff. But if you happen to have problems, turn it up to four. But for now, I suggest if you're not having any problems, just turn it down to two or three. So that you don't have to worry about this here blocking just normal conversations that you happen to have in your chat. And that's really it. This is going to stop the follower bot from happening in its track. So if it starts happening, your mod can just go click this here on and you're done. 
You can just close this here. It's going to auto save. All those settings are going to take place. And then when you click it and turn it on, that's going to make it so that nobody's going to be able to curse. There's going to be no followers, but it's not one I suggest leaving on. So I'm going to turn it off for now. Turning it on, you click on it to turn it off. You click on this here, visible mod only. You, and it's there. You can open it or turn it off. So in here's the way you can get to the settings as well. If you open it, it'll open the settings and you'll be able to turn it off. How are we going to actually stop them before we need to get to this here point? Like this is the extreme point. This is where you have nothing else you can do. This is going to stop it. But how can we stop it before it happens? That's what I want to go over next. So for this here, we're just going to jump over to the Twitch dashboard. Once we're in the creator dashboard, we're going to go down here to the settings and we're going to click on moderation. Now we're just going to scroll down to where it says chat privileges. Now this is going to look very familiar because this is exactly what the shield mode turns on. Now I actually don't mind that my followers and viewers need to have verified email. I don't think that's too hard of a step. If it's a verified email and they start botting, it's somebody that can actually be banned that's not going to come back. So I think this here is, a, is an okay thing to turn on all of the time. So that's what we're going to cover. This is how you're going to prevent them from ever happening in the first place. For one, for the chat verification, I'm going to go here to some chatters and down in here to the email verification must have account older than one week. I'm going to go down and change this to one month. I think this here is perfect. I'm just going to leave this here exactly stock. This is just going to prevent anyone from coming in that doesn't have a one month old account verified with email. This is going to stop them from ever saying anything at all in chat. And down in the, the follower verification, I'm going to do the same thing. Users without a verified email can only follow with accounts older than one month. I find the one month period actually a really good time period because a bot account usually is only a week or two old. But if you still have the problems, you can make this two months. If you're making it three or four months, you're going to actually uh, prohibit some people with new accounts from being able to follow you that might be legit. But I think a one month is a perfect period of time to stop people from being able to bot attack you. So once those are both set on one month, if you have any problems, they'll be able to tell you in chat or they'll be able to still private message you. There's, there's ways to be contacted. If this does cause you any problems, you can change it down a little bit, but I definitely suggest leaving it on one month and on some chatters. Not all chatters. You don't want you don't want all the chatters to have verified emails because some people don't have verified emails. The first time chatters, chatter, like I find this here is okay if they don't have the email verified as long as it's older than a month. If you still have problems here, you can click it on all chatter. There's only going to be three or four real people that don't have that don't have the ability to actually verify their email. So this one here can be turned on, but this is just my suggesting settings. This should stop 99% of the bot attacks from ever happening in the first place. Underneath it is the, the verification exempts. So you can exempt subscribers, VIPs, and moderators from this here at all. So they can always chat. These are, you can click them on if you want. I know my moderators are already, they have verified emails and they're, it's plenty good. And for follower verification, it's the same thing, just one month and you should be good. You shouldn't need to use the phone verification unless it gets to an extreme situation. I would use shield mode for that so that you can turn it on only when you're having the issue because you only need to stop it when you're having the issue. It's not good to stop it all the time because that does stop real people. But that's it. Once that's there's done, you're going to be able to just close this here out and go back to your home page. You don't need to save anything there. It should just auto update. And after that, you should be set. You should be good to go and you should not have to worry about the bot accounts attacking you anymore. This should stop 99% of them, like I said. And I definitely hope this here was helpful. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching. Bye.